Let us also understand how a bank communicates the copy of its transactions with the account holder to the account holder. Usually this is done through a passbook or a bank statement, both of which are nothing but a copy of the customer's account with the bank. A format roughly would be like this, where the date of the transaction, the details, some particulars, whether it was a check, cash, if there is a check, the check number, sometimes the name of the party, etc. Amount deposited, amount withdrawn and the balance. In this particular case, on 1-1, there was a cash deposit of 50,000. And therefore, there is a balance of 50,000. Please note that deposits have been represented by credits and withdrawals by debits. As mentioned before, any deposit into the account, the bank account is credited. Any withdrawals and the bank account is debited. When 50,000 is credited, we have a credit balance of 50,000. Subsequently, there is a withdrawal of 12,000 so that now there is a balance of 38,000, again a credit balance. A credit balance, a positive balance, a favorable balance. A further issue of 18,000 and we have a balance of 20,000. There is then an issue, a check issued for 25,000, a result of which the balance has become negative at 5,000 that is which is indicated by a debit balance 5,000 meaning that this is an overdraft. Money has been overdrawn. There have been more withdrawals than deposits. Sometimes the bank allows this facility, allows its customer to overdraw its account and charges some interest. Subsequently, Cash has been deposited and the balance is again a credit balance of 45,000. Please note that a credit balance at the bank indicates a favorable balance and therefore a debit balance in the account holder's books. Similarly, an overdraft is a debit balance in the books of the bank but it would be a credit balance in the account holder's books. We will be discussing this in detail further on. Let us take a look at certain, a copy of a bank statement. The date, the mode, particulars, deposit, withdrawal and the balance. This is a bank statement issued by ICICI Bank. What is the difference or how does one distinguish between a bank statement and a passbook? A bank statement is a loose leaf, a statement, a page, which is periodically sent to the customer, monthly, quarterly, giving him details of this transaction. Like we mentioned before, the passbook or a bank statement is a copy of the customer's or account holder's record with the bank. This is the format of a passbook. A passbook is a small booklet the size of a passport. It has the similar details of date, particulars, check details, deposits, withdrawal and balance. However, the passbook is retained with the customer. The customer takes the passbook to the bank and gets it periodically updated. Both, however, essentially serve the same function. They are both a copy of the customer's account with the bank.